Hello and welcome! My name is Reef and today you'll be joining me for some Organ Trail Director's Cut. I'll be having taking a quick look at this game. Um, the game is my, made by a company called The Men Who Wear Many Hats. It's an indie developer. It's originally a parody on the original game called Oregon Trail, which was a, an educational game from 1971 to teach kids about the early pioneer life in the United States of America. So in South African terms, it would be like people making a game up to teach kids about the Hura track when the Bura went away from the English into the middle of South Africa. Anyway, this game is apparently a retro zombie survival game. Um, it's based on the Unity engine and the director's cut has a few more features than the original has. Um, it okay, you can make like customizable characters, which in the, apparently in the original one you couldn't do that. You only had three preset characters to choose from, and there is a kind of like a choose your own adventure style mode in this game. Also, I'm not entirely sure about that, but let's see how it goes. Campaign mode. Um, let's start. Uh, let's explain the differences in the difficulty. Yeah, that's good. The difficulty you pick will determine the amount of supplies you can scavenge at the start of at your journey. It also affects enemy difficulty and event occurrences. You are rewarded for choosing a higher difficulty with the score mo a score modifier. Click anywhere to continue. Okay, so if I go easy, I should be able to get more stuff and not die as much. And if I get suicide, but I'll get a lot more score if I take suicide, but I'll die a lot. Okay, so let's start off with... Hmm, Ah, oh, fuck it, you'll... I'll, I'll take easy, for now. Click on the enemy and draw a line towards yourself to shoot. Oh, so, click here. Oh my god. This is... A lot harder than it seems, that is a lot of zombies. Out of ammo. Oh, Christ. I was wondering what's going on there. So yeah, the controls are pretty simple so far. Well then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. It looks like you'll eat my bacon as well. I reckon we stand a better chance out there together. My name is Clements. I used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? Click to type. My name is... Zombie Slayer 9000. No, I can't do that. Oh, Steve. The pleasure's all mine, Steve. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone, I just died a while back. Ah, because you killed them, you bastard. Did you know anyone we could count on in a pinch? Um, well, we have Steve. We can, we could like, hmm. Who would you count on when you're in danger? First we call the Ghostbusters. Yes. And then Rambo. And then... Mm, thirdly... Who should we take thirdly? I think... Yeah. I think Donkey Kong is, is my third choice. And last but not least, also you always have to have this guy on your team. Is all good old Chuck. Are these names correct? Well, I think so. There's a good chance if they're still alive, they will be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. We're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. Click anywhere to continue. Hopefully it's a Volvo. Those things are safe as fuck. Okay, use WASD or arrow keys to move. I'm using WASD. The music in this game is very fitting. It's not really all in your face and it's quite creepy and eerie at the same time. Okay, this is an old wooden type station wagon, I think. It reminds me of the 70s. Alright, I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road, I'll drive. Click anywhere to continue. Okay, so now we're in the car. He'll drive. I don't have to drive. Steve, station with Clement, health. 
Okay, everything is going well. Clemens has broken. How the fuck do you break an arm? Um. Okay, Clemens, you you should not drive. Clemens has dysentery. I don't understand what is wrong with this man. Is he busy turning into a zombie? Jeez, god damn it. Well, okay. While I'm busy angering at Clemens and his disabilities, the visual sense the game, as you guys can see, is pretty two dimensional and. Oh, how the fuck do you get bitten by a zombie, Clemens? We're in a car. We're in a car on a road and there's nothing around us. Anyway. The visuals in this game really fits the whole retro style that we're going for and from what I've seen against the original game that's apparent, they're apparently parodying with the whole, um, I think that was a horse cart and stuff, or ox wagon instead of a station wagon and stuff like that, it, it does make, it does fit in quite a lot um, and the station wagon is running out of fuel, good, 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 god damn it. Okay, Clement, we're out of fuel and you're turning into a zombie. Fuck you. Wow, this looks like a nice town to be. Look, she's cute. A bit green in the, under the gills, but yeah. Is that a dog? Or is that the shadow of a dog? Just as a station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat, all survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C. The government has declared a class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. Click anywhere to continue. Oh yeah. Okay, Clement, you broken arm, zombie face, dysentery bastard. Looks like we'll have a time a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back there here, here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you think we may we may need on the trip. This is easy mode and Clement's already dying. Pick the supplies you want to gather, your hour remaining. 18. Uh, first off. We need food, yes, food, I think three food is enough, we need some ammo, uh, tire, yes, a muffler, yes, a battery, yes, some money, three medkits, uh, I'm not running out of fuel this time, good, so we have fuel, medkit, money, oh wait, we should rather read the journal, fuel, I think that you want to have at least eight tanks with you at any given time so you can make it to the next destination, what? Medkits, I've seen a guy with a broken arm say he felt at least 30% better up to patch him up. A handful. Money, you also need. And scrap, you also need. And everything you also need. Okay, so back. So we have one, two, three, four, five fuel. I think we'll take one less med kit. A um, bit more money, less money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a bit less food. Okay, let's go. Your friends join the party. This has to be Chuck. This is Rambo. This would be the Ghostbusters. And this is. You know, I actually forgot the last person's name. Oh well, no problem. Great, everyone's here. There's just one more thing. Back there on the road, one of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to put me down. Why don't you keep my journal? It'll maybe help you out there. Good luck. Fuck you, Clement. I hope you die. BAM! Yeah. Well, that was that was brutal. Steve put down Clements. Tweet. Is that even possible? Oh, they'll just skip that part. 230 miles to Pittsburgh. Click anywhere to continue. Let's go. Oh, Donkey Kong is the last person. Gosh damn it. Chuck talks about a time before all this started. 
Everyone is somber. Fuck you, Chuck. Well, how can you spoil the mood like that, hey? You bastard. You hit a pretty nasty bump in the road and fire fuel flies out the... How the hell? So, we just lost the... Most of our fuel for no reason. I think we should stop and go pick it up. Is that even possible? Talk to stranger. Car, station wagon. Supply. Ah, oh, fuck it. Rest. Rest. We're resting for one hour. Come on. Done. Back. Go. Go, Mr. Station Wagon. Go. You found some wild fruit. Oh, okay. Good. Let's just keep on continuing then. What? What now? We just stop on a... Oh, look, a bridge. Are we going that way? No? Yes? No? Maybe? Pittsburgh. Click anywhere to continue. Hello, Pittsburgh. Okay, let's see. Is there any jobs here to do? Bandits is a group of hostile folk, folk who have holed up in a nearby building. I think they mean to take cover. Difficulty? Suicide. Payment $27. Recover your crate file at the back of your car on the way to town. Can you go find it? Yep. I'm gonna do that. Because it's dangerous. It's dangerous, my middle name. Travel instructions use WASD or arrow keys to move. Reach the goal at the end of the level to win. Pull back to aim. Release to shoot. Click anyway to continue. Okay, so here we are. I see a zombie. BAM! Fuck yeah. Whoa. No, no. Can I run away? I'm running away from all the zombies. Because I'm a girl or a man. No, I'm aiming in the wrong direction. Come on. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. That is a lot of zombies. God damn it. Fuck you, zombies. I will kill all of you. Oh shit, that, that's completely missed. Completely, completely missed. But that's a crate, isn't it? Yes, I made it. Woo, that was close. Okay, you've earned two tires. Mm. Okay, I'll try out the bandage job now. See how it goes. So far, this game is quite a lot more difficult than I expected at first. I have to admit, I have to admit, but it is a lot of fun. Suicide difficulty. So this is what the hardest mode in the game looks like. Yes, yes. Oh my god. Well, this is quite... Well, this music is awesome, but this is difficult. <laughs> oh my god, I got that guy with some miracle. Okay, I'm gonna pull back. Yes, you are dead. Come on, stand up. No. Let's try this other two. No. Oh, I was shot and I just barely got away. I fucked up. No more jobs listed. Well, sorry about that. I think it's time to use a... Oh, Steve is just a bit hurt. No, that's nothing wrong. We'll talk to a stranger. Don't forget to set your pace and rations to a reasonable amount. Don't push yourself too hard, stranger. Good. I'm going to rest now. Yep. I want to rest for one hour. Town? Anything here? Bye. I have fifty dollars. I think I need some fuel. Um, I'm gonna buy one. I want to buy some uh, some ammo as well. Yeah, yeah, no. And let's leave town. 
You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently massive in size and appears to be alert. So, what do you do if there's a horde of zombies in front of you? Do you wait to see if the horde dis disperses? Ugh, having trouble dis <laughs> saying these goddamn words. <laughs> Stupid tongue. Break out guns and clear a path. Attempt to sneak through. Hire mercenaries to escort you or get information about your choices. I want information. You can attempt to sneak through the horde. If the zombies aren't very aggressive looking, you might be able to slowly drive through them without drawing their attention. You can also fight your way through. You will attempt to drive through with all the top speed firing from windows as you go. A large and angry horde might still be able to overwhelm the vehicle. If there are mercenaries nearby, they might be willing to protect you for a nominal fee as you pass through the horde. Let's see, is there any mercenaries? Uh, just, uh, no, I'm too poor. Well, fuck it. Let's go out in a bang. Like, right guys? If, if, if we die, it's, it's, that, it's just, that's just how it goes. Come on. Kill all the zombies! You were overrun by the horde, you lost the following one scrap. Yes! Oh, that's not too bad. I thought it was gonna be something a little more, a lot more... Dramatic? Oh well. You found 20 am ammo in an abandoned car. Wow, awesome. Anyway, this game is, well, a lot of fun. As you guys can tell from watching this. Obviously it's a lot of... <laughs> Donkey Kong has typhoid. Oh, damn it. I should write that down. Donkey Kong has typhoid. Mm, might be a slogan. Anyway. Check out this game. I will put a link in the description for you guys. This game is quite a lot of fun. As I've said many, many times before. I think I will give this game in general. Because the visuals are de decent for what it is. The game has great audio. It really fits with the whole thing. It, the music is eerie when you're walking through that place with all the zombies the controls are quite easy to get around with but it is difficult this game isn't easy so it is still a bit of a challenge in it it's not just a walk in the park with that being said I think and this is the first video I'm gonna do this on I'm gonna give this game a thumbs up a reef TV thumbs up and what that means is I enjoyed this game and in future, when I'm doing first impression videos, I'm going to give a game either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. A thumbs down, it's not going to mean the game's bad, it's just that I didn't enjoy the game. I mean, people's opinions differ. Anyway, thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.